Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. Applications for the government's disaster relief funds for eligible recipients who have yet to receive them will open next week. Workers in the special employment type and freelancers can apply for the employment stability funds of 500,000 to 1.5 million won online starting next Monday and offline at employment centers from October 19th. The government will start accepting applications for the second round of the New Hope Fund of 1 to 2 million won on October 16th from small size business owners that were affected by the coronavirus pandemic and strengthened social distancing measures. Violators of an administrative order that obligates mask wearing in high risk areas for the coronavirus, including at rallies on public transportation and medical institutions, will be imposed with a fine of up to 100,000 won starting on November 13th. According to updated guidelines on mandatory mask wearing, those who fail to cover their nose and mouth with masks will also face fines, but those aged under 14 and people with disabilities and other medical conditions will be exempt from the obligation. The new rules will be implemented on a trial basis starting next Tuesday before fully going into effect on November 13th. Governments of the European Union are planning to endorse South Korean and Nigerian candidates to lead the World Trade Organization, according to a Bloomberg report citing anonymous officials familiar with the matter. The WTO plans to announce two finalists after Tuesday local time before naming a new director general by November 7th and in a meeting of national trade experts last Friday. All 27 EU nations, with the exception of Hungary, supported Korean Trade Minister Yu Myung-hee and former Nigerian finance minister Ngozi Okonjo-Iwela as the two finalists. Hungary's resistance could be overcome at a higher-level gathering scheduled for Monday, according to the officials. Finally, South Korea and Japan are discussing the possibility of relaxing entry restrictions imposed over coronavirus concerns for business people of the two countries starting this week, according to Japanese broadcaster NHK. Tokyo imposed an entry ban on Korean nationals in early March, which was followed by Korea's suspension of visa issuance for Japanese nationals shortly after. When implemented, business people traveling short and long term will be exempt from the mandatory two-week quarantine when entering the two countries on the condition that they submit negative coronavirus test results. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, a study on the severity of the Fukushima meltdown, followed by a discussion on the Moon Jae-in administration's green energy policy initiatives.